Hi everyone, I'm Garrett Weinzerl for the Arrowhead Center at NMSU, and I'm back with more tips on how to look professional when working remotely. And no, today's tip is not stop wearing pajama pants. If the Zoom meeting can't see my pants, then it's my comfortable little secret. Today I want to talk about how to give the best first impression when posting a video online. This is why you should know how to make a video thumbnail. Nowadays, it is far more likely that you will be asked to participate in online video or need to create and post your own videos. The thumbnail is the first thing your viewers are going to see before they even hit play. Which brings us to tip number one. Set a custom thumbnail from the video platform. Any custom thumbnail at all. We've all seen videos online with thumbnails that look interesting. Most video platforms will auto-select a single frame from the video to use as the thumbnail. This often leads to your face being frozen mid-sentence and looking like a bad glitch from your favorite video game. It's not professional, especially since virtually every video platform out there gives us control over what the thumbnail is. The easiest way to customize the thumbnail is to select the frame for yourself. Most video platforms will give you a few options to select from. For YouTube, Go to your YouTube studio, this is where you manage your videos, and click on the video you want to set a thumbnail for. Below the video description, you can select from three randomly generated frames. Select the one that doesn't look utterly embarrassing, and click save in the top right. For Facebook, go to a page you manage, I made this one as an example. On the top bar, click on publishing tools, upload a new video, or click on an old one. On the right side bar, select thumbnail. Facebook actually gives more options than most. Arrow through your options and select the thumbnail you want. Don't forget to save. For Twitch, click on your account icon in the top right and go to Video Producer. Click the three dots to the far right and select Edit. Select from the frames offered, then click Save Changes in the bottom right. This brings us to tip number two. Create a custom thumbnail. What if you want more customization over your thumbnail? Maybe you want to introduce text elements or images that are not in the video itself. Creating your own thumbnail gives you complete control over what you want your viewers to see first. Now, there are near infinite options for creating images, far more than could be covered in a single talk like this one. Ultimately, you will need to create an image file. This can be done with more high-end design software like Photoshop, but can also be achieved through more widely used programs, things like PowerPoint, Word, or don't laugh, even MS Paint. Individual tutorials for these programs could be videos on their own, and there are already many resources out there for creating and saving image files for each of them. Whatever program we're using, we need to end up with an image that's saved as a JPEG, PNG, or GIF. These are the most widely accepted image formats. Which brings us to tip number three. Know your aspect ratios. What the heck is an aspect ratio? In video and video thumbnails, we're dealing with a rectangle. The aspect ratio of a rectangle is its longer side versus its shorter side. The standard for YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch videos is 16 by 9. If the software you're using allows you to specify width and height by pixels, I would recommend 1280 by 720. As of recording this video, 1280 by 720 is the maximum allowed by Twitch. Facebook and YouTube really only care about the final file size and not the specific dimensions, but 1280 by 720 is a solid standard to work within. Going one further, if your image software allows customization of resolution, most software will refer to this as DPI or PPI. 72 is the industry standard for screen resolution. And this brings us to tip number four. Add a title to the thumbnail. We want our viewers to know what they're about to watch, which means we're going to need a title. If you're trying to go viral, then I am not going to scold you for clickbait. But if your videos are intended for clients, coworkers, students, or really anyone in your professional field, it's best to keep the title simple and informative. A little bonus tip if you want to get fancy. Include a picture behind the text or an image of some sort. Just make sure that the text isn't too close in color or shade to the background. Otherwise, it's going to be extremely hard to read. I repurposed this background from the Arrowhead website. And this brings us to our fifth and final tip. Start your video with a title screen to get around uploading. This is the alternative I like if you do not want to bother with uploading an image as a thumbnail. This is particularly useful if your video was created through live streaming or if you're not editing your video in any way. Start your live stream or video recording by screen sharing a title screen. If you're already giving a presentation in PowerPoint, just start the presentation 
with a title screen. This should give you a frame of your title screen as one of the generated thumbnail options on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. That's it, let us know how it goes. And please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I'll be looking at the comments for topics to cover in future videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on working remotely.